Hello, dear students. Uh, I'm with Deepanvita Mandat today. In this session, I will be interviewing her about her PhD interview experience of mathematics. She has recently been selected for a PhD program in mathematics in IIT Trupati. So, Deepanvita, before I ask other questions, I would again congratulate you on your well deserved success. And students, she's one of the very diligent, intelligent, and hardworking students. So, she rarely miss a class. Uh, yeah, I mean, she is the regular attendee of the class. She rarely miss a class, and I thought that she is a right candidate to answer all of your queries about the PhD interview uh, in IT Tirupati and written also. She has qualified uh, her written and interview in the first attempt, and it's it's the consequence of her uh, internal hard work and perseverance. Okay, so Deepanvita, I start. First of all, I would say, tell us about your academic background. Okay, uh, I did a BSc from Golwanga University, that is in West Bengal, and I have completed MSc from IIT Tirupati, and I took subscription from NG Mathematics. Right. Okay, so when did you complete your MSc? in the year of uh, 2022 okay so uh, 2022 right yeah okay so uh, when did you think that you would go for phd what things attracted you towards mathematics oh first of all that after completion of the phd you will be having the degree that doctor something <laughs> that at has attracted me in childhood but uh, oh. <laughs> right and uh, oh, yes. and little bit when I was in BSc, that time we used to participate in exhibitions, kind of. So that kind of make us thinking that how nature is written in mathematical language, and all like this happened. But initially, oh. just to get the doctor kind of name that that attracted me. Okay, okay, okay. So. Uh, uh, after your MSc, so what are your strategies for prepare? What are your strategies for preparing for the PhD interviews? Right? How do you read? Okay. Uh, after MSc, I uh, I used to I I just tried to uh, study theorem with proofs also and like I one I tried to make the topics interesting in my own way like if it doesn't happen or if this condition is added then what could have happened like that way i tried oh. uh, so and yeah. yeah because a lot of times uh, aspirants wanted to appear for an interview they qualified and net examinations after that they get the eligibility to uh, appear for the interview in ITs. so actually sometimes what happens that some of the candidates uh, just uh, do questions only just applies uh, you know just they know how to apply something so they uh, mm -hmm. do not uh, pay attention to proofs of the theorems and uh, some good problems so uh, Deepanvita as said as Deepanvita said that she also uh, proved you know proves theorems and also does problems so it's very important for the uh, phd interview aspirants right because when uh, uh, students when you go to uh, for, go for interview because you already qualified the net examination so you have to do something other than the written examination okay so deepanvita will tell after some time that what kind of questions they ask in it tirupati okay so uh, what are the syllabus for the PhD written in IIT Tirupati? Like what what courses? Okay. Uh, in our time, uh, there was so uh, some top, uh, topics from algebra, uh, linear algebra, abstract algebra, real analysis, complex analysis, and topology, functional analysis, numerical analysis, PDOD. But from these topics, we need to uh, write uh, best three parts like they will mm, treat the best uh, score from best three okay okay so these are the subjects okay all right so uh, okay what is the total score of written total score that 
kind of thing i didn't remember that total score kind of it was oh. there so okay so uh, you qualified the written so uh, could you please tell that how many questions have you solved in the written exams uh, i have solved from linear algebra almost to uh, except two three questions i have solved from linear algebra and real analysis uh maybe from algebra it was about 9 to 10 questions um, from real and complex analysis it was in a combined part so uh, it was like it was also 6 to 7 uh, no sorry 7 to 8 questions were there from real and complex analysis and from topology also 7 to 8 questions okay this this so three parts i attempted okay so topology analysis and algebra yeah linear algebra okay so uh, uh, what kind of questions they ask in written okay, in written compare the level of the questions to some of the exam and something else eg or very difficult uh, not very difficult it was uh, okay so uh, uh, now let me uh, so you have qualified written so you told me about the written now let me ask you questions about the interview how many uh, right uh, why i am asking this question because uh, the aspirants want to know about this because a lot of students uh, when go first time to appear for an interview they want to know all these things okay so they will be listening this so i ask you the, that how many persons are there in the panel how interview? many students will yeah So how many uh, members members yeah. uh 10 10 members are there so so when a, a candidate right goes in front of 10 members he upright he see upright right so uh so please tell us something about your interview that how it go how it went like what they do what did they ask from where they start right what did you tell okay first tell it what were your preferences in the interview i will ask yeah you. first they ask that uh, which topic you want uh, for phd kind of okay. so i told analysis and okay. so you like this is what first preference in linear algebra yeah okay. i like analysis so uh but they have started asking from uh, previous uh, at first they have started asking from linear algebra then okay. analysis then complex analysis uh and from these three only they have asked so uh, and uh, yes yes please uh, yeah and fortunately i didn't feel nervous but because i used to study like this way that if i mean i tried to study like this if it uh, happened then what could it happen more like with uh, the previously i have told uh, so i don't know somehow i was like okay i was confident in the interview so it uh, that happened okay so you told your preferences linear uh, first analysis then algebra analysis okay mm -hmm. so they asked from algebra first linear algebra mm. algebra then uh, are, did they ask also from uh, abstract algebra no no okay so they asked you from three topics so uh, uh, what did they ask from linear algebra if you remember some questions uh, okay. they have started from uh, basics only then uh, some top uh, some questions were like can there uh, can you give me an example of a linear transformation from r to r show that the null space is equal to the ren space oh. this question i remember also if i uh, also if i am having a 3 cross 3 a not invertible matrix can we always find a matrix b which is uh, 3 cross 3 such that ab is equal to 0 that kind of questions they ask from linear algebra from analysis uh from analysis they have asked something like an if i uh, having a sets collection of sets where an is equal to minus 1 by n comma 1 by n intersection q complement what would be the intersection uh, intersection of an uh also uh, like some one uh, calculate like uh, one sequence question that uh, if i am having a two sequence 
yes like am gm that okay, sequence okay, right every sequence in that geometric sequence right those who are related and converse to the same limit okay this is well known question okay so uh, do you find some question in the interview who uh, what you haven't seen already mm ali <laughs> uh haven't seen it was manageable to answer Right, right. Like linear algebra so, that yes. a b equal to zero that was new to me, but uh, okay. like okay. similar to that you have or uh, some sometimes solved. Linear algebra that question linear uh, show that the Nans Nans space is equal to Nans space that was uh, new to me and that a b equal to zero that was also new to me. Okay. Um and. Also, okay. some questions were the complex elements from complex that was new means previously solved. Okay, so uh, what do I mean to ask that when they ask you questions uh, that uh, uh, were the questions like that that oh this is very different I have not solved the similar questions like that I want to ask it. So, oh no 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 I can relate that maybe that yeah. idea could be used here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that. What? to ask <laughs> okay okay so uh, the questions were new to me but i was able to guess that maybe this idea can help me so i was <laughs> okay 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 so uh, now uh, a student is usually very afraid of the interview panel right well, because uh, when there are 10 members when a student appear for the first interview he may afraid she may afraid right because so would you think that one should affect are they not helpful sorry can you repeat i i, oh. I said that sometimes uh, what happens that uh, uh, suppose i am giving i am going for an interview right first time in some iit okay. so when i enter the room then i see 10 persons are sitting there so i am afraid right so this afraidness will cost me losing the opportunity sometime because when someone afraids then he or she may not be able to answer uh, as much he can so that i just want to ask you that i have already told a lot of times to uh, students that there is no need to afraid they are there to help you if you the uh, if you stuck somewhere they will give you hint they will uh, they will help you every time okay so what is your experience so one should afraid to them or not no i not because i uh, you, i was telling myself okay i have studied uh, i can like that forget everything but, okay. uh, but they, are they very will ask right? they must be helping yeah. you whenever you are stuck right Yeah, yeah. If I has got stuck somewhere, they will give some hints and all. Uh, so uh, they give enough hints to solve some question, right? I have also, uh, I have also observed in interviews that when I were giving interviews uh, uh, before, uh, like two, uh, no, two years ago. So I also observed that they. are really helpful they always help us so we don't need to afraid because of our readiness we lost interview sometimes so i would like to say every student please do not afraid just prepare well or just prepare well right when you prepare well there is no need to afraid you will do good as deepanita do good so she uh, qualified in first attempt and um, she was uh, she joined in mathematics a few months ago and we are very happy that i am very happy that you qualified so uh, okay so at last i want to say that what message do you want to give to aspirants of phd interview what message uh, okay keep trying that's only <laughs> okay keep trying right so because sometimes students get demotivated right that we could not do this do you did you feel this yeah believe uh, in the system that did you face this thought in your mind sometimes obviously <laughs> right okay 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 so so uh, i would say at last that you will continue your diligence in hard workingness in your phd and i believe that you will very uh, you will do very good in your phd okay so with this this is i would like to end this interview and thanks for uh, coming okay uh, yeah and thank you all <laughs> means thank you to the okay. team of angel analytics
ओके थैंक्स वेलकम वेलकम